Lay amen, Lord Jesus, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise God, evangelist Andrew Kelly, once again with the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Amen, praise God, the power of God and salvation to everyone that believeth. Yes, amen, praise God. I talked about the other day that the Word was God's Word. And Jesus said, the words I speak are not mine, but the Father which dwells in me. And Jesus was a vessel, was a, uh, a way for God to speak through. You know, praise God, Jesus said, no man has seen the Father at any time, save the only begotten Son. Amen, praise God, which is in the bosom of the Father. Amen, praise God, glory, praise God. In Christianity, you're denying the Son, and they take scriptures out of context like a cafeteria pick and choose. You know, praise God. So the Bible says uh, that they're wrestling the scriptures to their own destruction. You know, praise God. So I was uh, preaching, uh, you know, to, to uh, some people, and uh, they uh, like to take John 14 out of context, where uh, Jesus said, "This is that uh, He has seen me, has seen the Father." Well, who's talking? You know, praise God. It wasn't uh, God talking. You see me, the Son. You know, see me. You see the Father. He's not saying you see me. I'm God the Father. No, I mean they got to read the whole thing. You know. Uh, read John 14, you know, praise God. So, so this problem with Christianity, they don't want to read the Bible. I mean, praise God, they want to go and believe Hollywood. I mean, praise God, that can give them only a false salvation, a false hope, a false gospel. I mean, praise God, that's it, a false bottom. I mean, praise God, that's it, instead of uh, uh, being saved, holy, sanctified, you know, praise God, that's it, glory, praise God. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. I mean, praise God, who in the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. You know, praise God, that's it, they'd rather believe Hollywood than believe the King James Bible. I mean, praise God, it's reality. You know, how many people out there want to believe, you know, that's it, praise God, uh, these uh, dead carnal movies that uh, God's not dead and uh, uh, so forth and so on about uh, people, you know, who are getting saved. You know, it wasn't real life, it's just Hollywood saved. I mean, that's it, as Hollywood fake salvation. I mean, praise God, it's not the real thing that Mr. So-and-so walking and having all his experiences and it's only Hollywood experiences because they're not experiences that the Bible can give you. I mean, praise God, glory, praise God. When you're saved according to the Bible, you know, praise God, so the Christians don't know because the Christians don't want to read the Bible. I mean, praise God, so there are false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. You know, praise God says that they're denying the Lord, you know, that bought them. You know, praise God that they're denying Christ, you know, praise God the Lord, and to us there's one Lord, Paul says, you know, one Lord Jesus Christ, you know, praise God, one God the Father, praise God, so denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. You no, know, praise God, said, glory, praise God. So they deny Jesus Christ. You no, know, praise God, that's it. That, uh, you know, so that uh, Jesus uh, may have uh, called them out, you know, to uh, get saved, but they went the wrong way. They went to Bible school. I mean, so instead of going to the Bible, they went to Bible school. I and mean, praise God, then they turn around and they deny the Lord Jesus Christ. They uh, uh, say that he's God and they take scriptures out of context, like John 1, that the Word was with God and the Word was God. Well, it didn't say God was the Word. You no, know, God, the Word was God's Word. That's what I'm saying. The Word was God's Word. And that the God was the Word. You know, for God says, so if that's the case, then the Bible must be wrong, because the Bible says the Word was made flesh. You know, for God, God's Word was made flesh. You know, for God, not God. You know, for God is Word. And this is what people don't understand. You know, for God said, glory, for God. And I say, I give you my Word. I'm not saying I give you me. No, I'll give you my Word. You know, for God, I give you Bible preacher's Word. You know, for God said, so for God give you the Word of Bible preacher. You know, for God, there you go. For God said, uh, you know, God gave us His Word. You know, for God, if you want to say it that way, for God, uh, so, I mean, praise God, uh, God's not the Word, you know, praise God, God gave us His Word, the Word, you know, that I speak, you know, not mine, but the Father's as well for me, praise God. So here's, you know, the people denying that the Lord, uh, that uh, who Jesus is, you know, praise God, call Him God, and they say they don't believe in the Trinity. Well, it's not a scripture I read in the Bible. I mean, praise God, there's three separate things. You know, praise God, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one, praise God. We can read that about it with Stephen. You know, praise God, so it's with people, you know, denying the Lord Jesus Christ, denying the Bible. You know, praise God, it's it, which praise God, uh, I mean, praise God, denying the way, the truth, you know, praise God, uh, you know, praise God, it, and uh, I bring upon himself swift destruction. You know, praise God, many shall follow their pernicious ways. You know, praise God, it's swift destruction, their sin has found them out. You know, praise God, look at Jimmy Baker, swift destruction. You know, praise God, look at the, they did the offerings, look at the preachers. You know, praise God, it, uh, going out with their secretaries and having babies and uh, two, three, four, five wives. You know, praise God, that's it. Uh, and they're trying to preach the gospel, trying to say that they're all right, and people believe all that because people have strong delusions to believe a lie. They don't read the Bible. They don't. Uh, they just trust the preacher's word instead of trusting in the Bible. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. And there you go. And they're on their way to hellfire brimstone. You know, praise God, that's it. And they give up their ways and then turn around. You know, praise God, the Pope is no better. He's got to turn around from his Mary, from his dead idols. You know, praise God, that's it. Glory, praise God, because the Pope doesn't turn around. He's going to go to his grave without Christ. You know, praise God, that's it. Glory, praise God, he's going to sleep in Mary, and that's not going to do anybody any good. You know, praise God said, you have to sleep in Christ. The dead in Christ shall rise first. And then which we which we which shall be caught together to meet Jesus in the air. Praise God. 
go to Shri Skanda the main lane when it said, the main shall follow their pernicious ways. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. In first God, don't they speak evil? This King James Bible, the Gospel of Christ, they speak evil of the Bible. They say, don't read that Bible. Uh, you know, they said that Bible is no good anymore, and that Bible is not this, that Bible is not that, and so forth and so on. And it's uh, missing the Greek, and it's missing the Hebrews, and it's missing whatever. It's uh, missing uh, so many words. It's missing so many things. Uh, instead of uh, you know, people getting into the Bible and trusting the Bible, I mean, they said they're just denying the Bible. They're denying the Lord. They're denying the Word of God. And they, uh, they're uh, trusting them pervert Bibles and pervert Bibles of God. Galatians chapter 1, if any man preach any other gospel, then be accursed. You know, praise God, is it? Because there's some that be troubled you that would uh, pervert the Bible. And we have uh, nothing but uh, pervert Bibles with pervert preachers. You know, praise God. So we have a pervert preacher preaching a pervert Bible. You know, praise God, that's it, who went to Bible school. And when Paul says, oh, foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you? And the praise God, Bible college is easily uh, to bewitch people, to get them to study the Greek and Hebrews and turn away their focus from the Word, turn away uh, from Christ. You know, praise God, that's it, Galatians, praise God, that's it. So, I mean, that's it, that they make them too full more of the child of hell. You know, praise God, that's it, Galatians, praise God, to turn them against Christ, you know, praise God, they turn them against Christ, they said, you can't be, you can't be, you can't be, denying the Lord Jesus Christ, deny his word, and they uh, say, you can't be perfect, you can't be without sin, you can't be this, you can't be that, well, Jesus said, you know, go and sin no more, be therefore perfect, you know, praise God, Jesus preached the opposite, his preacher, preacher saying, you can't be, you can't be, and people will trust them and believe those preachers, because they don't want to read the Bible, you know, praise God, it's easier for them to trust in their books, you know, praise God, and their, and, uh, their TV shows, and uh, to buy their mugs, and to buy their jackets, or to buy whatever, you know, praise God, that's it, but to, to uh, read the Bible is a very hard thing to get people to do, praise God. And then when they do, they don't see what they're reading. You know, praise God, they got to go and refute the Word of God. They got to turn the Word of uh, God, uh, you know, to sit uh, into um, lasciviousness. And praise God, so they got to turn it uh, to their Christmas holidays. They got to turn it into uh, uh, an excuse to whatever, take a scripture, you know, of context, you know, the rest of the scriptures own destruction so they can celebrate Christmas. You know, praise God. Jesus said to do this in remembrance of me, break the bread. You say, go have a tree and a uh, major and the gifts and everything. You no, know, praise God. said, glory to God. Says, my, my Bible makes it clear that, uh, that uh, Jesus said to in uh, First Corinthians 11 in uh, Luke is to uh, do this in remembrance of me, is to break the bread. You know, praise God, glory to God. Says, Jesus said that, who's there, you my flesh and drink of my blood. And John chapter 6, have everlasting life. You know, praise God. You know, praise God. Many shall follow the pernicious ways by whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. You know, praise God. So they'll speak evil against the King James Bible. And then they'll want you to buy their NIV, so new century, those new this, new, 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 so forth and so on. They're missing uh, so many words. You know, praise God. So, and uh, people nowadays know what they're uh, calling uh, uh, Jesus God instead of uh, uh, the Son of God. You know, praise God. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, was preached among civilians and I in uh, Second Tim, uh, Corinthians chapter 1, you know, praise God, but people, you denying uh, Jesus, you know, praise God, that's it, and uh, it's sad, you know, praise God, that's it, that all men should honor the Son, even if they honor the Father, he that honor if not the Son, honor if not the Father who sent him, and the reason why people have these salvation is because their preacher from Bible school has been bewitched and making them too full more to child of hell, and they have a Hollywood salvation, they're told to go see a Hollywood movie, you know, that's our church to be turned to a movie theater to watch God's Not Dead or whatever dead carnal movies, I mean, I don't watch those silly movies because I know uh, they're carnal, and I've seen them post on Facebook, and once I see them post them on Facebook, I know that they got everything all backwards, all wrong, you know, praise God, so I have to tell them, you get to get in the Bible, you got to get in the Bible, but those bi those movies do not encourage people to get in the Bible, they discourage it, because why would they get in the Bible if God loves everybody, and man, that's it, so this is what the, uh, the preaching is out there, it's uh, completely false, uh, bad teaching out there, we got a lot of bad teaching today, uh, especially now, I've been in the Bible, say, 20 years now, and we got a lot of bad teaching, you know, praise God, and I've been away, you know, for a bit, you know, praise God, this uh, past uh, week or so, a couple of weeks or so, but you know, first God said, uh, been uh, busy, whatever. No, first God said, but uh, no, first God, we gotta continue on with the Bible. Nevertheless, first God, a fruit covenant says, Shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you? You know, first God said, with covetousness, no, first God, they're just making merchandise of people with their uh, <laughs> movies and Sunday school sing song service and uh, their Mother's Day, their Father's Day, their Halloween, their Christmas. You know, first God, how they, they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, teaching in vain the doctrines and commandments of man. Jesus said, you know, praise God, that's it. This is what they're doing. They're turning people away from Christ. You know, praise God, that's it. Through covetousness, you know, praise God, that's it. And uh, the, the, they just uh, want to, to make a quick sale, make a quick buck, and to, to uh, buy this holy water and holy crackers and holy this. And, you know, forget it. You know, praise God, that's it. Glory to God. The only thing I want to buy is the Holy Bible and the good dictionary. You know, praise God. I mean, glory to God. And the good highlighter to go along with that uh, uh, dictionary, you know, or with that Bible, I should say, praise God. And dictionary, praise God. And glory to God. Man. And through God, and through cousins shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now long time lingereth not, and their damnation 
slumbereth not. You know, praise God. It's got a faint words make merchandise to you whose judgment now is a long time lingereth not. You know, praise God. Their damnation is near. You know, praise God. It's it. This is near. No, for he's got touched not mine anointed. Never do my prophets no harm. Now, how many people have you know, come up to me and try to tell me whatever, and then the next thing I hear, they're in a mess. Why? Because they're touching God's anointed. Why? Because they're touching somebody you know they shouldn't be touching. You know, praise God. Say, glory, praise God. You don't go to a uh, to uh, pick a fight with uh, uh, a uh, uh, a guy uh, who's the uh, world's strongest wrestler who could uh, crush in pieces in uh, in two seconds or less. No, praise God. Said, you know, said, praise God. So why are you picking a fight with God's people? You want to pick a fight? Go fight with the devil's crowd. You know, praise God. Go fight those people that say that Jesus is God. Hey, hey, no, it's written. You know, because he that have the Son of God have life. You know, praise God. Hey, it's written. You know, praise God. That all men shall honor the Son of God and the Father. Hey, it's written. You know, that the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. Hey, it is written. You know, that all judgment is given unto the Son. You know, from the Father. Praise God. Glory, praise God. So, and then praise God. And Jesus said, I can do nothing of my own self except were given to me by my father which is in heaven so praise God so glory praise God so you know that these uh, uh, people out there are nothing but uh, troubling uh, your, your soul I and mean, praise God that's it and just troubling your salvation and Paul says is to not be moved not to be alarmed not to be uh, moved by those things you know praise God that's it as from letters from us you know praise God because it's not of us you know praise God these are just uh, forgeries of letters you know praise God that's what these new Bibles are coming out with forgeries you know praise God that's taking out Greek and taking out words because uh, preachers don't want to find out about their sin. People, preachers don't want to read about their sin. People don't want to find out about who they are, what they look like. They want to take those words away so that they don't want at all see what they look like. They don't want to see how ugly they are. You know, that's why they got to get the, these uh, Bibles perverted and changed so that you don't want to see how ugly they are. Christianity, the hour, don't want to see how ugly they are. I mean, they uh, uh, preach the gospel of superfluity and naughtiness, James says, uh, chapter 1, and after preaching these other pervert Bibles, instead of preaching the gospel of Christ, instead of sticking to their first love, you know, first guys were told in Revelation, chapter 1, first God. Praise God. Lord Jesus, praise God. Yeah. And the account of the long suffering of our Lord's salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, have written to you, as all in his epistles, speaking of them, these things in which some things are hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned, this is what Christianity and stable, rest as they do with the other scriptures unto their own destruction. And this is what Christianity is doing, is wrestling the scriptures to their own destruction. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, Leah. Those people that uh, say Jesus is God, well, you know, that's it, praise God. You know, it's, uh, those people I try to avoid because uh, you can never, uh, uh, you can never uh, sit, uh, you can uh, never win against them because they're always right and they, they got their own righteousness. You know, praise God, they got their own pride, which comes before fall, and their own righteousness, which is as filthy rags, not and not just God. You know, praise God, it's the only thing that uh, you can hope for is that uh, they turn around, you know, praise God, out of that mess. You know, praise God, because these people just want to cause arguments. They want to argue against the Lord Jesus Christ, kick them against the pricks. You know, praise God, this is what, um, and, and is what, what they're doing, praise God, glory, praise God, man. You know, praise God, and what, Paul, what Peter says here, uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, that uh, they're ignorant, and that uh, by that man out there, and that uh, they're ignorant, and that by the word of God, verse five, for First Peter, uh, Second Peter, three five, for they are willingly ignorant, and that by the word of God, the heavens were of old, and the earth stand out of the water, and in the water, whereby the world was then being overflowed with water, perished. You know, first God said so they're being ignorant. You know, first God, not, not only them people, but also those people who support the homosexuals, they're ignorant of the word of God because they don't. Like hearing the word of God, that uh, their, their ancestors in Solomon and Gomorrah are going to burn, and those people who endorse those homosexuals are going to burn as well. And then, first God, those people who uh, are going to burn or drown, you know, first God, and then at the last day, you know, first God, God's going to burn the earth, and all ungodly men, you know, who dwell, who dwell in it, righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear, first God. But men don't want to believe that. You know, first God, men just want to believe what they uh, feel like, pick and choose salvation. You know, first God, I said I was. Uh, on the internet, and they had uh, some uh, uh, person on there saying that uh, why uh, God does, why God loves the homosexuals. Well, he loved them enough to burn them in the bed of abomination. You know, praise God, he loved them enough to to to, uh, to uh, tell them, uh, 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 tell them that you gotta clean up. You know, praise God, said to turn or burn. You know, praise God, said such for some of you homosexuals are saved because of First Corinthians chapter six says such for some of you infeminates and murderers and whoremongers, unbelievers, you know, uh, unrighteous uh, sinners. You know, praise God of all kinds, drunkards, fornicators, murderers, name it. You know, praise God. 
God, such for some of you. You know, praise God, so praise God, such were. It doesn't say such are still some of you. You know, it's what Christianity is still, still are because they let sin dwell in their flesh. You know, praise God, there's no good thing that dwells in your flesh when you're full of sin. You know, praise God, and it's what they don't understand Romans 7. You know, praise God, when the Paul says in Romans chapter 7, it says, For when we were past tense in the flesh, the motions of sin which were by the law did work in our members to what? Bring forth fruit unto death. You know, praise God, I was preaching to one guy, oh, about uh, a couple of months ago, and he says uh, to me that, uh, well, we're we're still uh, in the flesh. We're, we're fleshly people, and we can't get out of the flesh. Well, so who is Jesus? Was he an animal? Was he a bird? Was he a donkey? Was he a cat? No, my Bible says he walked in the likeness of sinful flesh, and the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 that we're not dead, to live after flesh. I said, crucified the flesh, and ye, sh and, uh, ye shall not fulfill the lust thereof. Walk in the spirit. So I told him in Colossians chapter uh, three, it says, "This is that mortify your uh, members of flesh, fornication, uncleanness, you know, vain jesting, and foolish talking, and uh, uh, name it, you know, praise God." But uh, you know, that's it. And he just kicked me off because uh, he just wants to believe his church gospel rather than believe in the gospel of Christ. You no, know, praise God, rather than believe the gospel of Christ, you want to believe the preacher's gospel that we're in the flesh and we can't stop sinning and so forth and so on. Well, the Bible says, "For when you were in the flesh, the motions of sin which were by the law, they work in their members, spring for fruit unto death." You know, praise God. For for now, no content nation to those from Christ Jesus. You know, praise God. So for his law of severe life in Christ Jesus set me free from the law of sin death. You know, praise God. So, I mean, they, you preach that to people and, 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 and they're so carnal they can't comprehend it. You know, praise God, they want to kick you off because it doesn't go at, with their doctrine. You know, praise God, it's that, uh, in my Bible says if any uh, man preach any other, other doctrine than what's written in this Bible and uh, conform up to the wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, is what? Proud knowing nothing. Praise God, this is what we have for people out there proud knowing nothing, you know, praise God, that's it, they'd rather be, uh, uh, you know, sit, uh, proud knowing uh, who Billy Graham is, you know, praise God, they're proud to be part of uh, Billy Graham's crusade, they're, part of, they're proud of being uh, uh, whoever down the street, meeting whoever, excuse me for a second, you know, praise God, that's it, glory, praise God, they're proud of uh, knowing whoever or whatever down the street, you know, praise God, instead of uh, uh, reading the gospel of Christ, instead of reading the Bible, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, and says so glory, praise God, and so, praise God, glory, praise God. So, let's start reading our Bibles here. In John 14, praise God, praise God. Because there's a very important message, praise God, glory, praise God, Leah. I'm going to come up with. Let not your heart be troubled. You know what the problem with Christianity is? Their heart is troubled. You know, praise God, say, glory, praise God. For your heart condemneth not, your heart troubles not. Didn't have the confidence toward God. You know, praise God, it's like, praise God. So, you know, praise God, the problem is Christianity, their hearts always trouble them. You know, it's like they can't stop sinning. Their hearts always troubling them. They, uh, you know, it's like we're all sinners, or your heart's always troubling you, praise God, because you're of the devil. You know, praise God, it's like your heart's going to be troubled all the time. You know, praise God. But uh, now Jesus telling uh, his disciples, and praise God, he's now telling me, praise God, to let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Praise God, said, uh, just like Christians, you believe in God, and so does the devil. John, uh, James 2 19. But what about this? Believe also in me. You know, for God. So you believe in God. You're so great preaching to Jesus God. You're so great preaching about God. You know, just like everybody else believes in God. The Muslims believe in God. And the Christians believe in God. And everybody else down the street, the Buddhists and the, and the whoever down the street believes in God. What about believing in me? The Son of God. You know, praise God. So this is what Christianity don't want to get into, don't want to discuss, don't want to touch. You know, praise God. It's it's becoming more and more this abomination gospel, this antichrist gospel that Jesus is God. You know, praise God. It's it. Glory, praise God. It's becoming more and more every day. You know, praise God. Because why? Because man out there don't want to listen to the Bible. They're not interested in hearing the Bible. Jesus said, "My sheep hear my voice." You know, praise God. Paul preached from sunset to sunrise. Peter preached for three hours and somebody died. And he preached another three hours and somebody else dies. And he went on and on preaching for we don't know how long. But he went for a long time preaching the gospel of Christ in uh, uh, Acts chapter 5. You know, praise God, said, uh, preaching revival from Acts chapter 4 and chapter 5. You know, praise God, said, glory, praise God. But uh, people, you know, out there, they have no taste, no zeal for the word of God, no understanding for the word of God, no uh, no place for the word of God. You know, praise God, said, Jesus said, my word have no place in you, praise God. So that's why that these people, you know, said they have no place for the word of God. They have no place to read the Bible, no time to read the Bible. They got time to uh, do what the sport says. And Jesus says that, uh, uh, you know, that, uh, that uh, they uh, making excuses all the time. You know, praise God, that's it. They're making excuses and excuses and excuses. You mean, why not to read the Bible? They got to go to sports camps. They got to go to, 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 to uh, their uh, sing song service. They got to go do this, go do that, go do this, go do that, so forth and so on. You got a yoke of oxen, got a new car, got a new uh, football, got to see, got 
to do this and got to do that. Go see that new Hollywood movie, yeah, God's Not Dead or whatever, and uh, they're making their faithless movie, and they're all faithless Bible movies because they're not real. You know, first God, they're just man's reality, and then they're not Bible reality. You know, first God, goes, first God, the Bible explains it way better, and the Bible shows it to you and gives you the right vision, the correct understanding. You know, first God, in the way man has it. You know, first God, where no vision is, the people perish. That's why they got to go to those Hollywood movies. That's why denominations are now switching over to Hollywood. That's why preachers are making people their merchandise. You know, having a big laugh. The devil knows is that uh, he's got them as a merchandise, but he hates people like uh, me, who's uh, in the Bible, who's uh, trusting in the Word, the Lord, you no know, praise God, who has not set his eyes on any wicked things, you know, praise God, so, glory, praise God, so, praise God. so I don't trust in those faithless Hollywood movies, you know, praise God, just like those people on TV, you know, praise God, those uh, ghost hunters, those uh, dead files or whatever, you know, praise God, just watch them once in a while, you can tell the devil's a liar, it's, you know, witch of Endor trying to, you know, translate, uh, you know, trying to talk to dead people, you know, forget it, you know, praise God, so thou shalt not make no uh, cutting for the dead, and, uh, you know, sit there and, uh, you know, to uh, seek uh, wizards to peep to the dead, you know, forget, you know, first God, glory, first God, so I mean, like, uh, you know, first God, so forget, you know, talking to the dead, you know, first God, the dead know nothing, you know, first God, so those are just nothing but demon spirits trying to tickle man's flesh, trying to tickle, uh, you know, man's uh, soul and uh, to uh, to uh, get him to believe uh, whatever, you know, first God, so glory, first God, and uh, we know that uh, those things on TV, you know, first God, those are nothing but the uh, false, uh, you know, uh, uh, sorcerers, you know, first God, the witch of Endor, I call that uh, Dead Files Lady, and uh, she's nothing but a witch of Endor, and she dresses like a witch, you know, first God, that's it, and uh, talk to dead people, we'll forget, you know, first God, I talk to something that's living, and something living that talks to me, and that's the living God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, first God, that's it, who's, uh, uh, you know, first God, who's uh, sent uh, his son, first God, and who's sent the Holy Ghost, you know, first God, that's it, first God, and that's it, so glory, first God, so this is uh, what we have uh, uh, trouble with uh, uh, Christianity is, uh, like I said, is that they'll believe all sorts of things, but not the Bible. You know, praise God, that's it. And they're told, uh, as this says in Ezekiel, as this is that uh, the shepherds, you know, uh, uh, it says that uh, with force of cruelty, you have ruled them. The shepherds have ruled them. You know, praise God, and I've been in those situations. You know, praise God, that's it. And the uh, prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so in Jeremiah chapter 5. You know, praise God, it says, praise God, the problem we have Christianity is what it says in Jeremiah 12, I believe it says that my people are slothful, they're lazy. You know, praise God, they're good for nothing. You know, praise God, they're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge of. They have no knowledge to read the Bible. You know, praise God, we've got to start reading the Bible. You know, praise God, more and more we see the day approaching. You know, praise God, says, praise God, we see, you know, the days are coming. You know, praise God, it's it, uh, when Jesus are, is coming back, you know, things are happening. Praise God, scriptures be fulfilled. You know, praise God, and men aren't interested in doing that. You know, praise God, it's it, they're just interested in uh, following up their flesh and, uh, uh, and uh, fulfilling the scriptures to their own destruction, you know, praise God, that's it, and they're just, uh, uh, you know, praise God, that's it, they're, they're interested in uh, swallowing up their sins always, as Paul says, you know, praise God, that's it, and this is what uh, man all, all uh, want, you know, praise God, is to remain a sinner, remain child of the devil, and somehow be uh, a Lord, well, Paul says you cannot be partaker of the cup of the Lord's nor tail of devils, Jesus said you cannot serve two masters, and so you got to serve one or the other, you cannot go to church and serve God, because they won't let, uh, serve Christ, you know, the Son of God, because they won't let you, they'll stop you, and they'll, and they'll uh, want you to follow their own program, in their own ways, you know, praise God, and in their own doctrines, and doctrine of devils and seducing spirits, antichrist spirits, and false divinations, Hollywood salvation, instead of following the word of God, the gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, you know, praise God, I don't get many people uh, watching me or appreciating this word of God, because uh, men aren't uh, interested in it, they're just interested in uh, the flesh, you know, praise God, close, praise God, let not your heart be troubled, you believe in God, believe also in me, well, who's me? The Son, you know, praise God, the Son of God, you know, praise God, believe also in me, you know, praise God, that God so loved the world, they sent his only begotten Son, you believe also in me, that uh, when he sent, you know, praise God, whom he hath sent, you believe not, whom he hath sent, but uh, man don't want to believe that when he has sent, they think that God sent himself, well, and somehow split himself, uh, and, uh, like some sort of Adam, into, with little bits and pieces or whatever, we'll forget it, you know, praise God, so glory, praise God, the Son of God, Jesus Christ has come, and you praise God, so how can people, since they're denying this, it's just beyond me, you know, they sound convincing, which if you don't know your Bible, they sound convincing, but because I know my Bible and I read my Bible, I do what the Bible says, you know, for this guy, glory, for this guy, we know that the Son of God, Jesus Christ, has come, and then for this guy, we know what the Bible says, for this guy, I know people try to take scriptures out of context, they try to uh, justify a false teaching to keep their uh, doctrine alive so that they can continue on in their sin and their, in their uh, pernicious ways, you know, for this guy, we'll forget, you know, for this guy, say, glory, for this guy, uh, you know, we know that, uh, you know, what the Bible says, you know, people would always say, well, these three are one, well, that's right, have you looked in Acts chapter 7, have you read the book of Acts, have you read this, have you read that, have you read the Bible, you know, first God, obviously you don't know your Bible, that's why you're coming up with all these false teachings, you know, first God, because so you don't know your Bible, uh, you don't understand the English language, you have to go back to school, relearn what past tenses between he and him, I and me, 
she and her, you know, praise God, that's it. Uh, so they have to go back and relearn the whole English language, you know, praise God, praise God. In my father's house there are many mansions. You know, it doesn't say in my house. In my father's house there are many mansions. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of vacancies because men out there don't want to get in the Bible. You know, there's got a lot of vacancies around, but men out there aren't interested. Jesus uh, preached straight as the gate, narrow as the way, few shall find it. You know, praise God, the glory of God. Broad is the way which leads to destruction. I know, see Billy Graham's crow, well, that's the broad way. First God, they're all smoking and drinking, and, and uh, Billy Graham won't tell him to give it up because uh, he's making money off them, and he don't care because he's making his, uh, uh, his uh, thousands of dollars off them and driving and living in luxury. You know, first God, in the life of, uh, of uh, rioting. You know, praise God, it's in uh, lasciviousness, and praise God, and the, the same thing with the Pope and all these other characters. You know, praise God, forget them. You know, praise God, uh, get rid of them. You know, praise God, uh, get rid of their dead idols, get rid of their dead uh, doctrines. You know, praise God, it's, uh, get rid of those dead books and start reading the Bible. Glory to God and And it says, that in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go prepare a place for you, praise God, so glory, praise God, so there are many mansions, praise God, she's going to go prepare a place for you, and praise God, so we're going to probably have a bigger space than we think, you know, praise God, because not many people are interested, because many shall follow their pernicious ways, it says in Peter, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, and I go prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also, and whither I go, you know, and the way you know, because Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Praise God, praise God, praise God. So he knows, you know, praise God, that all scriptures have been fulfilled, praise God. But Jesus is no liar. He says, I would have uh, I told, I told you, if it were not so, I would have told you. So Jesus is no liar. Unlike Christianity, they're making Christ a liar, saying that uh, that uh, Jesus is God. When he said, the words that I speak are not mine, but the Father's which dwell in me. So, man, praise God. Then they turn around, oh, he didn't mean it that way. Well, then you're just making Christ a liar. And this is, do you think he's coming back for those kind of people? Absolutely not. You know, praise God. They're making Christ a liar when they say that he loves everybody. Hold it. You know, uh, John 14, the same chapter here. If you love me, keep my commandments, keep my words. Be therefore perfect, as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. You know, praise God, go and sin no more. You love one another as I loved you. You know, praise God, goes, praise God, give us his commandments. Praise God, John says is that uh, he gave us his commandments in uh, 1 John chapter 2. And by this, uh, you know, praise God, that uh, we know that we're in him if we keep his commandments. You know, praise God, so this is what Christianity don't want to do. They don't want to keep his commandments. You know, praise God, goes, praise God. So in my Father's house, not in my house, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. You know, praise God. I go prepare a place for you. Praise God. So I've got a place ready. Amen. Praise God. If you've uh, read your Bible, praise God. If you made room, you know, praise God. If you got room for the Word of God, praise God. Said, so that you can have a place up in heaven, or if you got a place uh, somewhere in hell. You know, praise God. So you got to have a place in heaven or in hell, not in purgatory. Purgatory the Pope can have, and all them funny preachers can have, and it don't exist. Amen. Praise God. It's it. uh, purgatory don't exist because Jesus said this is that, uh, you know, praise God, with that. Uh, uh, that uh, the learned the grace shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And they're not in, in the purgatory. Forget, you know, people praying themselves out of purgatory or whatever, you know, they're just uh, praying for demon spirits. That's what they're praying for. You know, for his God, they're not praying for, uh, uh, for the true... Uh, uh, for true Christians, because there's no such thing as purgatory. You know, for his God's sake, glory for his God. Purgatory is a Pope made, man made uh, idea. You know, for his God, people playing around with uh, demon spirits, you know, for his God, and uh, uh, seek themselves wizards, uh, people, you know, for his God, and uh, so forth and so on, and seek to those dead files and those ghost hunters or whatever. You know, for his God, so I just watch them, you know, just to see to see that, hey, that was a liar, you know, it says, you know, for his God, and they're hearing all these voices, and enough about demon voices, you know, for his God, so what they're hearing, you know, for his God, not the voice. Uh, you know, for his God says, I create the light, I create the darkness, I create the evil, I create the good, I the Lord do all these things. So when they don't want to receive the love of the truth, when they want to receive a delusion, well, there you go, for his God. He'll give you a, a delusion to really tickle your uh, ears, you know, for his God. Said, God will send you delusions and uh, uh, send you uh, evil spirits, you know, for his God. will send the spirits after you, and for his God, God and Father Jesus Christ will, you know, tell the evil spirits to uh, go and attack you. It's reality, you know, for his God. Said, he sent evil angels against his people in Israel, you know, for his God. He sent fiery serpents after them, you know, for his God. So he sent uh, uh, all sorts of plagues in diverse manners and uh, all sorts of sicknesses and everything against them because he did not want to obey his word. You know, for his God's sake, glory for his God. Said that, uh, God sent the worms after Herod. You know, for his God's sake, glory for his God. You know, for his God. Said, so there you go. For his God, the angel smote him on the head and, and there you go. Boom. He got the worms to eat him alive. You know, for his God's sake, glory for his God. And uh, the God sent uh, uh, the bears after uh, uh, those kids who are mocking the man God Elijah. You know, praise God, it's reality, you know, praise God. So we have to start reading our Bible, start getting into our first love, and start coming back to uh, the Bible, you know, praise God. We just can't uh, come back to, to a delusion like a, a church. we got to come out 
for among them. But be not partakers of their sins. No, praise God. And I will receive you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. For what concord lights do with darkness, Christ do with Bilal. You know, praise God. The Bible says, having, uh, uh, you know, praise God, in first, in second Corinthians chapter 7, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from what? All filthiness of the flesh, perfecting what? Holiness in the fear of God. Well, who fears God? You know, praise God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? All wisdom. You know, praise God. Say, glory to God. So, I mean, praise God. That's why that the uh, beginning of the Lord, fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. You know, praise God. Say, praise God. Uh, you know, uh, you know that uh, Jesus preached to fear ye him. In Luke chapter uh, uh, 12, verse 5, you know, fear ye him that hath the power to cast in hell. After he killed the body, he could cast your soul into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. You know, praise God. That's why that uh, there's not understanding because no fear of God. You know, praise God. No fear of God. That's why there's none righteous because none of the fear of God. You know, their feet are swift to shed blood. They're frozen open sepulcher. Their tongues are poisonous ass. You know, uh, uh, the uh, the way of righteousness they are not known. That's why there's none righteous. No, not one because there's still Jew and Gentiles under sin. You know, praise God. So, so these people, you know, said praise God. They they coming up with uh, all sorts of doctrines and all sorts of scriptures out of context without reading it, and uh, that's all they know. This is just that to use the scriptures out of context because they're hirelings, they're preachers on. TV have been using the wrong uh, uh, word, uh, wrong scriptures, out of context. You know, praise God, that they're using the uh, wrong uh, words to describe the scriptures, the wrong uh, scriptures. You know, praise God, that, uh, uh, you know, praise God, that's it. Uh, like, uh, you know, they use Romans 3:10, then righteous, no, not one, and they don't go on explaining what the scripture says. You know, praise God, says, so they using the wrong words. You know, praise God, in the wrong uh, ways of explaining the scriptures and the wrong. Uh, scriptures without uh, going to the one before that to explain the, the other scriptures. You know, praise God. Why is there none righteous no that one? Because we have before proved past sins, both Jews and Gentiles are under sin. Praise God. So these people, you know, said they're just stuck on one scripture, and that's what I, got, I call stuck salvation because they're just spinning the wheels. They can't go forward and they can't go backwards. They're just like a bunch of cars stuck on ice in the middle of winter time. No matter how, how far you dig and how try how, uh, you try to dig, that car's tires are still spinning. And this is what Christianity is still spinning the wheels. And then, praise God, uh, and uh, trying to understand the Bible, and they're ne ever learning and never able to come to knowledge of the Word. You know, praise God. Jesus said, He that is faithful in the least is also slow in the much. But Christianity, Christianity is not faithful in the Bible. They're faithful to believe the Muslims. They're faithful to believe, you know, uh, Billy Graham. They're faithful to believe uh, the, the funny preachers on TV and on the radio and on the internet and in the church rather than believe in the Bible. You know, praise God. Glory to God. So this is the reality that we face today that these funny preachers out there, they're uh, not at all interested at all in uh, making you uh, the child of heaven. They're just interested to you and proselyting you and making you twofold more the child of hell. Praise God, glory, praise God. So, you know, so these uh, websites, uh, you know, I go on my while well, preach them and uh, whew, I just have to leave, you know, shut the door because it's just they don't want, uh, you don't want nothing to do with it, you know, praise God. So they don't want nothing to do with the Bible and you know, praise God, you don't want enough to do with God's word. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. So, glory, praise God. So, you know, praise God. Uh, so, this is it. So, the word was God's word, not God was the word. God word was God's word. You know, praise God. So, glory, praise God. So, this is uh, this is it. So, praise God. And then you read in First uh, John chapter uh, one verse uh, three that the word. Uh, you know, praise God makes things because the word could do things. You know, praise God, say, glory to God. Not God, his word, God creator, and the word, you know, praise God, that was made flesh. You know, praise God, Jesus, and God sent his word. You know, praise God, God spoke words in Mary's womb, and out came a son. You know, God never came out of Mary's womb. He was a son. Praise God, born to us, a child is born, a son is given. He shall be called, not I shall be called, he, him, he shall be called. Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, not the Almighty, the Mighty God. Why? Because all power is given unto him in heaven and earth. Praise God, say, glory, praise God. You know, the everlasting Father. Because why? Because heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away, because his ways are everlasting. But these people, you know, they have no idea reading the Bible. They have no Holy Ghost. You mean they just got the wicked ghost, and they think they got the Holy Ghost. Well, forget it. You know, praise God, so they, they just got a whole bunch of smoke and mirrors. You know, praise God, and that's about it. You know, praise God, so smoke and mirrors, salvation. And they think they got something. They just got Hollywood salvation. They got to go run down the street and see the next Hollywood would movie. Well, forget it. You no, know, praise God. We've got to get in the Bible. Or they got to go run to church and, and get pushed down by some funny preacher who pushes people down the charismatic church. Don't forget it. You know, praise God. got to get in the Bible. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. Man. Tom said to him, Lord, we know not where thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way. I am the truth. So there's no other way. There's no other truth. You know, that's it. So believe that Jesus is God or Muhammad or whatever. You know, forget. You know, Jesus said, if another comes in his own name, him ye shall receive. In Luke uh, chapter. Uh, or John chapter 8, I should say, and in Prince God, in Luke 16, Jesus said that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. In Prince God, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, you should know my Father also, and from henceforth you know him and have seen him. God. And Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, suffice us. You see, this is what you don't bother reading the Bible, you just if you can choose. 
you know, they don't understand. Verse 9, Jesus said, Have I been not so long time with you? Help you. Thou hast not known me. Help you. He has seen me. I'm God the Father. You know, he has seen me. The Son. See, look who's talking here. you got to read this in context. you got this is the Son of God talking. Has seen me, the Son. You've seen my Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest not thou that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words I speak unto you speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doth the works. That's why when Jesus rose again from the dead, it's the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead be in you. When Thomas said, my Lord and my God. He didn't say my Lord God. This is what people don't understand. My Lord and my God, by new and living way. Concentrate for us. Your first God is to save flesh. Your first God is in God. Dwelt in that body. Your first God uh, to show. No first God that Jesus showed that the works that he was doing is now a creation of God. No first God, the born again Christ to come because Christ you know, had to uh, be uh, but, uh, had to die and he was dead three days in the grave to show that dead sin was death and the first God got the keys of hell and death it says in Revelations and he rose again from the dead and the first God and set the captives free and the first God because the saints arose and they were to, to the city you know first God is the glory of first God and uh, uh, that's it first God so this is uh, uh, this is it so first God so man out there you know they got to start reading the Bible they got to start looking onto Jesus got to start concentrating the Bible and to understand what he's talking about because he's talking about his works you know first God said he's not saying at all uh, he does see me I'm God the Father, no, first God is it, uh, how then shows the Father, because if they read, um, you know, they, if they read that, uh, you know, beginning that, uh, believe also me, uh, I am the way, the truth, and life, and no man comes from the Father but by me, if you know me, you should know my Father, and henceforth you know him, and have seen him, you didn't say, you know me, I'm God the Father, no, you should know my Father, first God, like I say, my mother, my parents, you know, first God, my grandmother, you know, first God, I didn't say, you know, you should know me. I'm God the Father. No, he's not saying that. You know, so this is what uh, uh, this is what they don't understand. So praise God, uh, he has seen me, have seen the Father. Praise God, he's not saying you see me. I'm God the Father, but you've seen the Son. You've seen the Father because the works I'm doing, they show the Father. Because the words I speak are not mine, but the Father wish uh, wish to offer me. Because the word was God's word. You know, praise God, glory. Praise God. It's what uh, uh, Christianity. You don't want to take this in context. I want to read the Bible. You know, praise God. They got it out of context. Uh, dead salvation. You know, praise God. Uh, Faithless salvation, of praise God. So there's going to be, you know, praise God, that's it, uh, many mansions uh, available, you know, praise God, it, because they take these uh, out of uh, context, you know, praise God, it's a glorious, praise God, yeah. uh, so praise God. So this is, uh, uh, so very, very, I say unto you, he that believe on me, the works that I shall do, he shall do also. Greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto myself. No, I go unto my Father, praise God. So, uh, you know, so this is what Christianity, I think Christianity has to go back to relearn some school here, some ED, my, he, her, she, him, I, you know, so they have to go back and relearn some English here before you can read the Bible. Because a lot of people aren't ordained to preach the Bible. You know, for this guy, they should be just uh, out there hauling garbage. You know, for this guy, and that's what uh, they're good for. You know, for this guy, they're good for nothing. You know, for this guy, that's what the kind of salvation that they have. You should have a uh, hauling garbage salvation because uh, they're good for nothing. You know, preaching uh, the God, the Bible. You know, for this guy, say, glory, for this guy, my people are slothful, lazy. You know, for this guy, sit and they. Uh, you know, praise God, they're just perverting the gospel. You know, praise God, say, glory, God. So let's look at uh, Galatians chapter 1 here. Praise God, glory, praise God. You know, why there's going to be many mansions, you know, why there's going to be many places uh, available because uh, my father tells her many mansions. I go prepare a place for you, praise God, sit. And, uh, you know, sit. And despite uh, the remnant that shall be scarce to be saved, according to the Bible, despite the remnant that's going to be saved, there's still going to be tons of room. You know, praise God, sit. It's going to be tons and tons of room. You know, praise God, sit. Glory, praise God. Dimensions are going to be laid out perfectly for all of us because uh, who are believers of the gospel of Christ, the word of God, praise God, glory, praise God. So let's look at uh, uh, Galatians uh, chapter 1. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. This guy goes, this guy, well, it's going to be uh, tons of room, you know, for this guy, well, you know, for this guy says that uh, Paul, an apostle of man, Paul, an apostle, not of man, neither of man, but by Jesus Christ, and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and the brethren which are with me into the church of Galatia, grace and peace to God the Father, and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of God, and our, our Father, to whom be glory forever and ever, amen. So this is why there's going to be 
Now many mansions are marvel that you're so removed from him that is called unto grace of Christ unto another gospel. They're called unto an NIV gospel. They're called unto the uh, new uh, century version or this new, uh, new this, new that, new so forth, so forth and so on. Instead of getting called into the gospel of Christ, instead of getting the new wine, you know, praise God, so they're going on to uh, more and more iniquity. You know, though I was listening to Jeremiah today, and it says in Jeremiah, you know, praise God, I got the tapes by Alexander Scobie that just reads the Bible. I have no commentaries here. You know, praise God, said so we just read the Bible as is. And uh, he says, this is that, uh, you know, that's it, uh, to seek ye the old path where dwell righteousness. You know, praise God, it's the old path, so you have to go back to the first love. You know, praise God, it's the old path. You know, praise God, but people don't want to do that. They want to go on with uh, more and more unrighteousness, so there's going to be a lot of mansions, uh, you know, uh, going to be available. You know, praise God, a lot of uh, house for sale. You know, praise God, it's it, and, uh, and hardly any buyers. You know, praise God, because Christianity aren't interested in getting the Bibles. In the Bibles, you know, many are called, but few shall be chosen. You know, praise God, I marvel that you're so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel which is not another, but there's some that would trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. I was on the internet one day, and I told this one guy, you're not a gospel pervert. Well, he want, he you know, didn't like that. Well, that's what you are, a pervert. Well, you know, so if you don't like the words of the King James Bible, then you get then uh, go and uh, play pinochle or something, you know, praise God, because uh, the words of the King James Bible are spirit in their life, and they're written as is written. You know, if I say bastard, if the world Bible calls bastards, then I'll say bastard. You know, praise God, and the Bible says, uh, you know, pervert, then that's what you are, pervert. You know, people don't want to hear what they are. They just, uh, you know, they don't want to see how ugly they are. They want I don't, don't want to see what their sin looks like. They just want, uh, you know, to be called beautiful. You know, just like uh, that uh, uh, Snow White mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all. And uh, that's it. And uh, you may have the ugliest uh, uh, face or whatever, and the man just wants to be there saying that, well, you're the most beautiful thing in the world, when in fact they're the most ugliest thing, because your sins stink. You know, for his guys, their sins stink. You, uh, your sins stink of cigarettes and of uh, booze and, uh, and, uh, and uh, murder or deceit and uh, and whatever, you know, for his God's sake, or if he's got uh, lies, steal, and cheating, and uh, um, unbelief, you know, for his God, your, your sin stinks. You know, for his God's going to go to the things of the world that really, you know, cause a stink instead of sweet savor. You know, for his God, for his God, I work at the college here in Old, college, in Old Alberta, and they go, they stink. You know, their sins stink. They're not told to read the Bible, not told to get in the Bible, not told to get saved, and their sins stink. You know, for his God, and they, and they uh, look at me and they accuse me, you know, for his God, sit and, uh, you know, sit and they have uh, no, uh, you know, for his God, they, 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 they uh, really uh, no, um, uh, uh, no, uh, Appearance for the gospel, no, uh, no, uh, uh, nothing for the gospel, no feelings for the gospel, and they think I'm strange because I have a Bible and I'm not out there smoking their cigarettes or drinking their booze or, or, or out there having a the party or the good times with their ecstasy and their drugs or whatever. You know, forget, you know, for guys, your drugs and your whatever, you know, they stink. You know, for guys, they stink. To, they stink in the sit, for guys. So that's why for guys, we're a sweet saver. For guys, we're for saying a body, living sacrifice, for guys. So if any, there was some trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ, but though we are an angel in heaven preaching our gospel, unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we say before, so I now say again, if any man preaching your gospel unto you, that which you have received, let him be a curse. You know, praise God, and this is what we have. People who are cursed, you're troubled, and pervert the gospel. You know, praise God, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, as I was saying in Peter. Many are going to follow their pernicious way. They're not going to, you know, follow any other way. They're going to follow these uh, preachers preaching a false gospel. You know, praise God, preaching of a Hollywood gospel. You know, praise God, that's what they'd rather go to Hollywood. They'd rather go see a carnal movie than staying in the Word of God. Praise God, glory, praise God, praise God, praise God. They'd rather go to Hollywood instead of letting the words of Christ abide in them. My words abide in you whatsoever you shall ask my name that I'll give unto you. But they want Hollywood to abide in them. They want the world to abide in them. And the whole world lies in wickedness. You no, know, praise God, so forget. You no, know, praise God, don't go to dark holes. Don't go to bars. Don't go to wherever, the nightclubs. Don't go to wherever up the, up the street or down the street. You no, know, praise God, it's all banned. You know, for his God, and uh, there's no reason why, you know, that's it, that there's going to be uh, many uh, uh, you know, places available up in heaven. Romans chapter 121, because that when they knew God, they glorified not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the incorruptible God to an image made the corruptible man, birds, four foot beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore, God gave them up to uncleanness for the less their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And first God, there you go. So there's uh, church preachers, you know, said that uh, they uh, uh, go for not God and they were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Professed themselves to be wise, they became 
fools. They went to Bible school and became nothing but fools. Not fools for Christ, but fools for the devil. You know, praise God said, you know, praise God said, Lord, praise God, man, you don't want to repent from their sins, give up their sins. Your uh, Bible says all have sinned, past tense, and come short of the glory of God. And when you don't want to give up their sins to be justified freely by His grace, you know, that's that their sin is going to take them out. You know, praise God, be sure your sin will find you out, and it will take you out as well, because the wages of sin is death, and it's just something that how uh, men out there, you know, that's it with their sin, it's just that they're going to uh, out for a wipeout, you know, praise God, this is just like as bad as the people going to Bogney down the snow hill, and they uh, crashed into the hills, and they're just wiping themselves out, and then, praise God, they got a 100% wipeout, you know, praise God, so they're completely wiped out, you know, praise God, in their sins, you know, praise God, certain men out there are going for drugs and uh, taking as much drugs as they can, uh, they call it overdose, and uh, some of them die in their sins, you know, die in their overdose, die in their booze or whatever, I mean, that's it, that's their, their sins are just taking them right out, that's the death working in them, you know, praise God, it's not life, if life is working in you, praise God, you won't be touching that stuff, you know, praise God, but it's death that's working in people, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, if life is working in you, praise God, you have the word of Christ, and praise God, you be clean, praise God, you be uh, you know, walking, the operated Lord, praise God, that uh, you be present your body, living sacrifice, only acceptable unto God, because you're a uh, temple of the Lord, praise God, uh, which temple ye are, praise God, and then later, praise God, and then sick, glory, praise God, and So it says right here, praise God, in uh, Romans chapter, uh, um, in chapter 1 here, praise God, said uh, that, uh, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and wor worship and serve the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. They, they serve the Son, they serve the S-U-N, Instead of the uh, instead of the maker of that sun, you know, for his God, they, they served, you know, for his God, the, the uh, beach, you know, for his God, instead of the creator of that beach, you know, as uh, uh, Jonah said, I fear God that made the heaven and, and the sea and the dry lands, you know, for his God, so glory for his God, and so for his God, and they don't serve now Christ, the Son of God, for his God, because all things were now given unto him, for his God, so glory for his God, they don't serve Christ now, they, they don't serve the Bible, for his God, they just go on, you know, and serving uh, uh, the things uh, that are. Uh, the creation instead of the creator of that creation. No, praise God. Lord, praise God. And then, praise God. And, uh, it says right here that change the truth of God into a lie. Well, this is what the, the these people say that Jesus is God. You're changing the truth of God into a lie. So you're a little bit too late to build your foundation here because my Bible says it was declared in verse 4, Romans 1 4, declared to be the Son of God of power according to the Spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. So it's been declared. So you're a little too late to build your foundation that Jesus is God because he didn't have the Son of God have life. He have not the Son of God have not life. Praise God. Say, praise God. Say, this is what the people, you know, you're too low, too late to build your foundation that Jesus is God because it's been declared forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven that Christ is the Son of God. God, glory to his God, Leah. And for this cause, God gave them up to vile affections. Even their women did change natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, the men leaving the natural use of the women. You know, for this God, glory to his God, said that, uh, uh, that uh, burn their lusts one for another. Men were working that which is unseemly and receiving themselves recompense of their error, which was meet. Even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being fulfilled with unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignant whispers, backfires, here's the God, despiteful, proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, kind of breakers, without natural affliction, implicable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, they wish to commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but a pleasure in them, that do them, praise God, so glory, praise God, so that's it, though. those people, you know, not only ones are doing it, but the people have pleasure in them, you know, praise God, how many people, you have pleasure in them, homosexuals, they may not be a homosexual, so to say, but they have pleasure in them, they, you know, they, they endorse them, you know, praise God, you're just as guilty as the people actually uh, committing the sin, you know, praise God, so committing the, uh, the sin of homosexuality, the abomination, praise God, you're just as guilty as they are, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, so that's why there's going to be many mansions, because men are always going to endorse other people's sin, men are, are going to endorse with the devil, men are going to endorse dark Darkness, because Jesus said that man loved the darkness more than the light. You know, I mean, Jesus said this is that uh, man loved their sin. You know, praise God, man loved their ways of perdition. Man loved their ways of darkness. You know, praise God, said they, 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 love, they love to stumble, but they don't want to get into the Word of God. They don't want to read the Word of God. They're not interested in reading the Bible. They're so interested in following the ways of perdition, with the ways what the world is going to do. And with the, Jesus said, man's heart's failing. You know, praise God, he said, man's hearts are failing because yeah, they're so interested in what the world has for them and what the world has. Well, I'm not interested in what the world has because what the world has is nothing for me, my soul. You know, praise God, nothing for my salvation, nothing for my, uh, for, 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 uh, nothing for me. You know, praise God, said, so, course, praise God. So I'm just interested in, uh, in, uh, one thing, and that's the Word of God, praise God, and doing what the Bible says, course, praise God. So that's it, praise God, we got to do what the Bible says. You know, praise God, it's reality. You know, praise God, without the, the Word of God, the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, you know, praise God, that's it, course, praise God. Uh, men out there aren't uh, going to at all uh, do what the, the 
file says they're not interested in what the Bible says. Praise God. Well, we're interested in what the Bible says. Praise God. We're interested in what the, uh, the gospel of Christ says because the gospel of Christ is the power of God and salvation. The gospel of Christ, you know, praise God, is uh, the way, the truth, and life. Praise God. So, praise God. So, this is what people are stumbling over. They're stumbling over the gospel of Christ. They're stumbling over the word because uh, men have no light in them. You know, praise God. So it's got a lot of darkness. That's why they turn on the TV and they watch those silly shows with Billy Graham and uh, David Maines and the 100 Huntley Streets and go to those silly churches that are preaching, you know, a false doctrine. You know, praise God, they're not preaching the truth. And praise God, taking the scriptures, wrestling to the scriptures to their own destruction. And they're playing church. You know, praise God, they're running out of ideas. You know, praise God, because they don't have enough faith in the Bible. What Paul says in First Corinthians, be followers of me, even son of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, praise God, that's it. they have no confidence in uh, what Paul says, but they have confidence in the flesh. And Paul says, we have no confidence in the flesh, but we have confidence in the spirit. Praise God, we have confidence in the word of God, confidence in the, what Jesus said. They said, man, let me keep my words, keep my commandments. You know, praise God, they're my father and I will make our abode in him. Praise God, because we got confidence in this word. And then praise God, that's it, that this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, thou shalt do as written therein, and thou shalt have good success. You know, praise God, that's it, and bless us, man, and meditate from the word of God day and night, for seed shall be blessed. You know, praise God, that's it, we have no confidence in the flesh. You know, praise God, that's it, that the word of God is quick and powerful, the nitty two edged sword, and this is what we have confidence in, it's the word of God. Glory to praise God, and I don't have any confidence in, uh, uh, in uh, those preachers out there from Bible school who got bewitched at uh, Bible college. I don't have any confidence in those uh, uh, false preachers, you know, praise God, that's it, who's making people their merchandise, I don't have uh, confidence in uh, those uh, people out there who have uh, a force of cruelty ruling over them, you know, praise God, that's it, we have uh, no confidence uh, at all in those people, you know, praise God, that's it, but we have confidence, you know, praise God, that uh, in the word of God, glory, praise God, we have confidence, you know, praise God, that what the gospel of Christ says, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, so that's it, praise God, so we have that confidence, no matter what the situation is, look at Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know, praise God, that's it, they have confidence, that God was going to be there and save them, and and they went into the fire, and praise God, did uh, God see them? Did he pull them uh, out of the fire? Well, praise God, he was there in the fire, praise God. He wasn't outside the fire. They went into there head first, but they didn't get burned. They didn't get touched. You know, praise God, not singed. You know, praise God, and the third one's like the son, the fourth one's like the son of God, the Bible says in Daniel chapter 3. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, praise God. So we got to get into our Bible, praise God. So I want to uh, close this with uh, uh, Colossians uh, chapter 3. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. Let's uh, close this with... Uh, Colossians uh, chapter 3 in the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. You know, praise God, it's it uh, in uh, Colossians uh, chapter 3, uh, verse, uh, you know, praise God, uh, that, uh, verse uh, 16. Let the word of God, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. You know, praise God, so we have no confidence in Hollywood. We have confidence that the word of Christ will dwell in you richly in all, richly in all wis wisdom. Teaching and admonishing one another in Psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts unto the Lord. You know, praise God. Are they singing songs, spiritual hymns in the churches or are they going to the rock concert? You know, look at the churches today involved with the carnal, involved with the world, involved with the rock concert. Uh, I was just reading on the internet that they had a motorcycle gang that's involved with uh, uh, of, of, of a rock concert, rock co gospel salvation, instead of uh, having the rock salvation of the word. You know, praise God. So they're just singing a rock concert and get men and, uh, and, and make money. You know, praise God. Making merchandise to them. You know, praise God. Just you know, give me some money. I'll sing a song and maybe throw in a few words of God and a few words of Jesus, you know, just to make it sound like it's a Christian song. You know, just like they have these Christian rock concerts, you know, trying to mimic the world. You know, for his God in the Bible says, love not the world, neither thinks of the world. Uh, amen, love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And they're just mimicking the world, they're just mimicking uh, the uh, things of the world. And they're not at all uh, doing what the Bible says. You know, for his God is sitting in the Bible says, love not the world. You know, for his God is in the Bible says that the friend of the world is the enmity toward God. And these are God's enemies. You know, for his God said, they're not his friend, they're his enemies. For his God said, Jesus said, and he said, except my Father draws you unto me, ye cannot be saved. I'm sorry of them that are lost, or that uh, I'm sorry of them that uh, sought me not. You know, for his God said, so how? It's through the word. You know, for his God said, my Father draws you unto me. Praise God, and sought of them that, sought, that seek me not. You know, uh, you know, praise God, in Isaiah, and then Jesus says, "Hey, you accept my Father draws you unto me. How's that through the words? You know, praise God, my Father's going to draw you with, foul, with words, because the words that I speak are not mine, but the Father shall with me, because the word was God. The words was God's word. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, so Jesus, being the Son of God, praise God, those can one come down the messenger to preach God's word. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, so let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Praise God, God, let this Bible dwell in richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs." See, laying in grace in your hearts in the Lord, and what's where you do word deeds, doing in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by.
him, you know, praise God. So they're singing them uh, funny uh, uh, rock concert songs, you know, praise God, they call it heavy metal rock, well, forget, you know, praise God, it's that the rock that I got is Christ, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, we got to build our foundation on the rock, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, so, amen, praise God, so, uh, amen, praise God, uh, just one more uh, uh, scripture here, praise God, so it just came to my mind, praise God, in uh, John chapter 8, praise God, glory, praise God, and uh, uh, Jesus said this, this is that, um, uh, that the man that, uh, you know, that uh, keeps my sayings, you know, praise God, he shall never taste death. In John chapter 8, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, Leah. So that's John 8, 52. And Jews said, well, now we know thou hast the devil, and Abraham is dead. And the prophet says, how says, if man keep my sayings, he shall never taste death. You know, praise God, said, uh, you know, praise God. In uh, verse uh, uh, well, 49, I have not the devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. And this is what Christianity of the hour is dishonoring Christ. You no, know, praise God, I honor my father. Did not say I honor myself? I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. I seek not my own glory, but one that seeketh and judgeth. Fairly, fairly I say unto you, if ye if man love me, ye keep my saying, and he shall never taste death. You no, know, praise God, he shall never taste sin, praise God. And let the word of God dwell in you richly, praise God, glory, praise God. And that's why the people, there's going to be a lot of mansions out there. A lot of people aren't interested in getting to heaven. A lot of people aren't getting interested in the word. A lot of people aren't uh, interested in this word. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. They're just interested in uh, getting uh, into the, the concerts or getting interested in the, the holidays of the church and how be they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, teaching in vain the doctrines of the commandments of man, praise God, glory, praise God. And we just call upon the name of the Lord right now, praise God, let's pray in Jesus' name, that's it, to call upon the name of the Lord, that those people out there, that have people here in this word, or, or people out there that are lost, Father, in the name of Jesus, is to turn around from the power of Satan, power of light, from the power of uh, uh, darkness, power of light, from the power of Satan, power of God, to to your word, Father, praise God in Jesus' name, that they ask for your son Jesus, that they turn around to your word. Amen, praise God, that Jesus said this, that, uh, you know, they may keep my saints, you will never taste death, Father, praise God, will they turn around, you know, praise God, that's it, from uh, all those churches, you know, praise God, from the world, you know, praise God, to take to take them away from the power of darkness, the power of light, to show them, you know, praise God, that's it, the error of the ways to convert, you know, praise God, they must be born again, Father, they must repent, and born again, Father, praise God, in Jesus' name, we pray that these people turn around, that's it, from the, from the, the churches, you know, to be not partakers of the sins of the church, but now to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, so glory, praise God. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray to turn the people around. In Jesus' name, Father, praise God, and says, so praise God. So, you got to turn around, get in the Bible. You must be born again. Uh, you know, sit and... Uh, uh, I was at a restaurant uh, uh, a couple months ago, and this one guy says, oh, we, you know, we, t uh, we uh, born-again Christians, we give them a Bible, and they're born again. Well, that's not how you be born again. Jesus said, men love me, keep my words. You know, praise God. So, praise God. God, God, let the words dwell on you. Keep my words. You know, praise God. So, man, love me. Not uh, win a man, if. Con uh, it's all conditional, praise God. So, we got to get in the Word of God, Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Start reading. Start believing. Amen, praise God. Because faith comes by hearing, hearing by what? The Word of God, praise God. Faith is the evidence of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, Evangelist Andrew Kelly here once again, the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, is telling you, read your Bible. And then, glory to Christ, God,